Yes, people, welcome and welcome back to Arsenal awesome Previews, a show where we preview every single Arsenal awesome game. Arsenal versus West Ham, a massive game for both teams. There's six points, in fact, in the race for top four. The game is being played this Wednesday, the 15th of December at 8 p.m. on BT Sport. It's being shown live in the UK. Starting with the Premier League table, West Ham sits in fourth, Arsenal sits in sixth. It shows you the gravity of this game right now. If Arsenal win, we overtake West Ham in positioning, being behind them basically the whole season. But West Ham aren't coming to aren't coming to defend against Arsenal. They're going to come to get the win. They've already beaten Chelsea and Liverpool this season. West Ham are no joke of a team. And they've got that beast, Mikel Antonio, up front. In terms of the actual team who's ahead of the game, starting with Arsenal, Arsenal captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is a strange case. The Giza... Not only is he not scoring now, he's not performing off the pitch either. He turned up late. Disciplinary breach meant he missed the game on the weekend for Arsenal against Southampton. He's looking like he's going to miss this game as well. So that's Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as a doubt for this game. Emil Smith-Rowe, apparently it was only a doubt for him, but he missed the game against Southampton as well. He might be able to find a way back in, but even if he's fit enough, does he deserve to start over someone like Gabriel Martini, who's been amazing? So although Emil Smith-Rowe may be fit, there's no guarantee he will start in the side. Other than that, Bern Leno and Klasnach are still the only injury concerns for Arsenal. In terms of West Ham, they have a few new injury concerns. Aaron Cresswell may be able to return, but Ben Johnson, Kurt Zuma, Ryan Fredericks and Angelo Ogbonna all remain sidelined for the Hammers. Issa Diop and Craig Dawson are expected to start in as a centre-back partnership, so it's definitely a weaker one than someone like Ogbonna and Kurt Zuma, but still an uh, experienced partnership at the back. And Pablo Fornals could return for Manuel Lanzini in a number 10 role. And of course, the danger man is Mikel Antonio. In terms of my Arsenal predicted lineup now, in goal, Aaron Ramsdale back to his best against Southampton. His distribution was absolutely unbelievable. Set Martinelli through at the end of the half, which I think he really could have done better with the Brazilian. But either way, shot stopping has been good, distribution has been even better. Unbelievable from him. Right back, Tommy Yasu, another consistent player. Every game performs 6 or 7 out of 10. Literally been unbelievable this season. No reason he should be dropped. Centre-backs wise, Ben White is the right centre-back. He's been really good as well. Hasn't I think he's started much better than he is. He's cooled off a little bit. He's, he's still decent, but he's not as good as he was to start the season. Or like that mid-way stage around that September, October time. But he's still very good. Next to him, Gabriel. What a player. He's been literally praised left, right, centre by the Arsenal fan base now. And actually... Lots of people have said he could be the future captain of this football club, even right now, the present day captain. With a Pierre Aubameyang, he has to be stripped of the armband one way or another. There's one thing not leading by example on the pitch, but now he's not leading by example off the pitch either. Gabriel, for me, is a good candidate, and also congratulations to him because he and his girlfriend are expecting a baby boy. I believe that's why he did a celebration after scoring, and he's demanding, he's commanding from corners, and that celebration where he scored was a shout out to his son that is going to be born soon. Left back wise, Kieran Tierney got an assist for the second goal. Look, it's sad on Nuno, but Tierney, you can see, he's still a great player. Unbelievable football. And I think we'll need him because the hammer's going to come for us. Uh, like they, they aren't no joke. We can't just bomb up, the t bomb up the wings against West Ham. We need to be sound defensively. And Tierney is a much better defender than Nuno Tavares. In terms of centre mids, Partey, right centre mid, will need his physical battle against West Ham, against Suchek and Rice. And then left centre mid, Granit Xhaka as well. Two very physical players. And I think that will be good to match and hopefully overcome West Ham's physical side because they probably are one of the most physical teams in the Premier League powerhouse players like Suchek and Rice in terms of Cam Martin Odegaard been our most on form player right now starting the season slowly but he's coming to life now back to back to back goals in the Premier League for Arsenal he's been the catalyst for us at times this season we're going to need another big performance from him right right wing I'll give it to Bukaya Saka he deserves his place I, he was unlucky not to score on the weekend at Southampton, cut in a couple times and just hit the post. But other than that, no reason to drop Bukayo Saki. He's one of the, he's the mainstay in the team. There's no reason that you, you drop, put him on the bench. Pepe can't get in the team for me. Saka 100% starts over him. Left wing, you have to give it to Martinelli. You have to. I mean, Smith Rowe could come back in, but Martinelli's been unbelievable. It would be so harsh to drop him. You either drop him or you move him to striker. And for me, Martinelli starts st starts that left-wing role. He gives us something different, someone that can run in behind, someone that can make an option, be an attacking outlet. He would chase down every single ball, even if it's on, in another stadium, he'll chase it down. He's that tenacious player. No reason he should not start in this team as well at the moment. And then striker, Alex Lacazette. Aubameyang's not getting in that team either way. And then Ketia isn't really firing, and Balogun's a bit too naive to get in right now. So that leaves Lacazette. We do need another striker, but Lacazette, to be fair, was a cool finish on the weekend against Southampton. An excellent finish, under pressure, side foot it into the top right corner. No keeper on planet Earth could have saved that one. But yeah, that's just my predict lineup ahead of the game. In terms of how I expect the game to go now. It'll be tough for Arsenal. It'll be a very tough game. We are at home, which does give me the benefit of the doubt and gives Arsenal the benefit of the doubt because 
we are much better side at home than we are away from home with our home support and we play with a different intensity i feel at home away from home we look decent to start this well when i say start the season like that september october role but recently away from home going to old trafford going to goodison park we looked really second best in both games at times so being at home clearly is a massive benefit for us and we need to utilize that and it's a massive game for the team massive game that win against southampton on the weekend means nothing if we don't pick up three points here we have to be able to make sure we're physical against someone like Mikel antonio suchek rice and we need to make sure that we attack with clinicality we might not have many chances against West Ham. We need to make sure that when we do have chances, we put it in the back of the net. With that being said, I'm going to be extremely overconfident here. And I'm going to go for an Arsenal win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Arsenal win. Is that me being a bit naive, a bit innocent after what happened on the weekend? Most probably, but I'm going to give us the benefit of the doubt. I, will always, I also expect it probably could be a draw. I'm being very naive to give Arsenal the benefit of the doubt and just give us a win. But who knows, man? Who knows that this club just does surprise me for a living? We'd probably win when I expect us to lose and lose when we expect when I expect us to win. So who knows? As always, leave in the comment section down below your thoughts ahead of the game as an Arsenal fan, a West Ham fan, or a football neutral, including your score prediction. I'm looking forward to this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video.